Okay, let's start off with the Golden Gloves event that just happened. African Explosion. Uh, the main event of the night was Hecky Budler versus Carlos Diaz, which we'll talk about later. But let's talk about um, the, the card as a whole. First off, you had Ricardo Hiraman, who who got his third victory. So he goes 3-0. and He beat a relative, relatively unknown guy. Um, knocked him out. So yeah, this is... Uh, He's going up. He's a Durban boy. He's coming through the ranks. Then we had Johnny Miller against Wilberforce Shihepo for the WBC Silver International Belt. That was a good fight. Like, it, well, it wasn't a good fight, but it was a good result. Like a split decision victory for Johnny Miller. But um, the you know there was more like a wrestling match. Like a, like Wilberforce Shihepo is more of a cage fighter type thing. So he came in and did a lot of clinching and a lot of that sort of thing. And eventually Johnny Miller, um, who was cut up pretty bad, who was kind of pretty bad in the fight, ended up doing the good, and getting the WBC international belt at the end of the day, on split decision, with two judges, yes, so then we had Rano Lievenberg as well, who's a, sta- a stable mate of the, uh, of the main event, which, well, it wasn't the main event on the night, but he, he should have been, he- Hecky Budler, um, he had to go up against um, the WBC number five, Joey Vegas, but he he finished him in the first round, and Joey Vegas is a pretty well known. He's fought some some guys that are pretty well known, and um, yeah, this this definitely promotes uh, Rainer Liebenberg up there. He goes fifteen and zero, winning the WBC Gold International Crown. This is, this this is another step up for him, and uh, hopefully he'll be getting some big um, opponents. And another thing is he also joins the six light heavyweights uh, starting in June. There'll be a there'll be a Super Six happening, and he'll be taking part in that. And then I think the main event of the night that we want to be talking about is uh, Hickey Budler. Uh, he retained his IBO and WBA World Strawweight or Minimum Weight Championship uh, against Carlos Diaz. Diaz, well, we all thought he would have put up a bit more of a fight, but you can just see the strength. Uh, Hickey is getting that knockout power now. This is, this is going to really pr- propel him in the... I mean, he's already rank, ranked number one, but... Um, I think most organizations have him at number one, but he needs to be the outright number one soon. So, on Boxerec, so I think a match against uh, that guy from Japan, I think Takayama, yeah, that that'll be a good fight, and that that'll really decide everything, and people will stop talking about it once it's done, and once it's made potentially in Monaco, that would be great, neutral venue. Yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot one fight. Um, also, Adam Dumour getting a victory, uh, as well a unanimous de- decision victory. Which, which also he's learning the game and the and the trade, and uh, soon he'll be amongst uh, the other guys as well. He his record goes to ten and one. So this is um, this is a uh, very good for the Hotbox Gym, uh, run by Colin Nathan. He's really doing a good job with the guys, and we'll be seeing a lot of these guys potentially on the international scale very very soon. You know, they already have Hecky, who's number one. You know, Hotbox are, we need to really take note of this gym. Thank you guys for listening. Cheers.